Hey guys, Penadaily here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Room uh, for Old Sins. I, um, between episodes, I went and turned off the hint system because, you know, this is a Let's Play and I'm supposed to look like I know what I'm doing. Uh, so, and I did remember, yeah, this is what we need to do. So, if we, let's come back and look at this. I mean, this is the only thing that's hidden, or hidden. Right. Can't do anything with that, but if you look down here, this isn't locked. Oh, hey, a medallion with four holes. Let's take a look at it. Pardon me. Nothing we can do here, but if you remember over on the desk... Four holes. Four holes. You can open the thing this way and get a shaped metal piece. Well, that cross looks familiar. Yeah. We can do that, so. Yeah, this thing's sometimes a little funky. We open this door. Hello? Door? Thank you. Schiller! And, of course, look what we've got. So, there we go. And this one is a little different because we also have top... Uh, no back. Thank you. No. Yes! Turn it one more time. Obviously, we need to do that, and so that's fine. And now we turn it like that, and that's fine! Yeah! So that was easier than probably. If we look down here, we see a button. Press the button, Frank. We press those two buttons, and we can pull that out, and we get a crank. And if you look, as that, this, we can, if by manipulating that, we can move that Pac-Man symbol. So, that's a thing. Come up here, pull that latch, and lift that thing, and this is where our crank is. Okay, so basically, if we turn this, it switches things, but it switches them... Yeah. So, if I pull this like this, we can... We want to... This is going to go up there. So, you want it to be here, so that we can move that one up there. So, if you move that down... It's going to go there, but for now we're just going to, we can just move it. I said, thank you. Yeah, sometimes, and then you can s move that all the way up there. Now, I'm actually going to move that all the way there, because we're going to do this of, this goes there, and this is going to go there, and you pull it around, and you push this in, and so you push this there, and you pull this there, and you can push these things that way and just pull one of them off. This is probably, you can probably do this in fewer moves than I am doing, but nobody ever said I was efficient. <sighs> Having some f serious issues with my lifestyle this week. Okay. Ahem. Ugh, come on. You're right there. Hi, hi, hi. And? Oh, and if you look, that also... It's up model well. Okay, so now we need to push this thing down until it's there. So now we've got that fire steel and a model well, and we don't have anything else that can 
there isn't anything else we can do. So we have to go back out because that well obviously goes somewhere here on the dollhouse. In fact, it goes here. And if we play with it a little, come on, it opens a wall of the dollhouse and gives us a new area. Yeah, like I said, you, you're not doing one room at a time in this version. Welcome to the kitchen. And, gee, do you think a fire steel might be... Oh, I don't know. Go on the stove? Okay, so we can't do anything there. But if we come here, we can... Turn this, and that opens this. Schiller! Okay, so this is a puzzle where we have to um, turn things so that they can pass through these... Uh, damn it! <sighs> Accidentally hit the right when I meant to hit left. That happens, unfortunately. So for this, we want to do like this. Does this remind anyone else of the smash symbol? So, first we turn that, and that's good. Now we want these to go like that. And that's good. And now there's one hole in the middle, so we need to do ahem. Come on. I know you can do it. Okay, you can't, you won't turn that way any further, huh? Or, oh, right, the thing isn't all the way out yet. Oh, perspective issues! There we are. We turn this, and we're good! And that opens this. It's a wheel. Hmm. Is there anything else we can do on this? Does not appear that there is. Of course, if we look over here, there's a book. So let's read the book. Every day recipes. Yes. Mrs. Fawcett's. I pause in a shadow on the landing as the raised voices reach me from below. Guttural threats drip with the promise of violence. Progress is slow. But why? I don't believe Edward knows how to fail. Their terminology is arcane. I piece together what little I can. These men are no scientists and surely no gentlemen. Why did we invite them into our home? Finally they leave. I must find Edward, but am I lost? I get turned around twice just finding the study. My father's study. A door I spent my childhood with an ear pressed against. Now I can't recognize it, except for the sense I get of what's behind, like a dark stain in the world. Oh dear. Okay, well, there actually isn't anything else we can do here, because that wheel goes back up into the study! You're gonna get real sick of that gong noise. <laughs> it's, only, it's one minor issue. All right. So, where does that wheel go? That's a good question. In fact, I actually think maybe we still need to be back down in the kitchen. Probably do. All right. All right, let's look around the kitchen and see what else we can see. All right, well, let's see here. That's... there's something over there. Oh, hey, that's a rod of some sort. Can we pull it? We can! And if we open... here, we can see a bottle. Something down there, but I can't reach it. Well, yeah, no, you can't. But those rods... Aha! Uh -huh. 
All right. Now, if we look at them through, we see that there is a circle on this one, which is visible normally. A word. I'm sure I know you have a word. Uh, a line and a triangle. Okay. So what do we do? Well, if we look closer, this is a fly nut rather than, you know, a screw. Triangle line, triangle, triangle, circle, circle. So, triangle, line, triangle, triangle, circle, circle. And once we have done that, we get a thingamabob, an inkwell. Okay, now we leave. Yep, sometimes it's that's one of the reasons it's easier to get lost with this game a little is because uh, you have a larger place to get lost in. But, you know. And do not trust your preconceptions. Try things even if you don't think they will work. That's what was tripping me up with the safe. I didn't think we could do anything with it. But we could, because there was that drawer that was manipulatable. So, the inkwell goes here, which causes it to open, and you no, know you push the button. I push the button. Come on. All right, so, if we open this, we get a, we see that there is a thing that we can manipulate, and we see that there is also a, you know, triangle with a triangle with a squiggle. Now, if we move this, we can just pull this thing up and circle with a bullseye. And this we can manipulate. So obviously, we need to set it to. I said triangle with a squiggle. All right, shut it. And. This should be circle with a bullseye. There we are. And pull that out. Now, this one you can't see the Pac-Man, but you can see a line. So if you pull, put it in to the line and come back and look, oh, hey. Hmm. Oh, I remember this crap. There's something strange about that aperture. Is it from Aperture Science? No. <sighs> All right, we go in. All right, so yeah, we can. Let's see. This moves things up and down, and this turns cranks and stuff. This is the only one we can do right now, so let's move that there. Uh, okay. And then again. Now, it took me forever to realize that thing was even there. Believe it or not. There we go. So now we move this down. And turn. Move that into position. Move it up and over, and over again, and down, and turn so that this thing goes there, and up, and over, and down, and change this uh, so it's not, not quite as awkward, and start cranking. We can stop now. <laughs> All right. And we get the handle of a model pump. Well, obviously, that's not something we can do anything with here. And as you can see, all of this stuff is tucking itself back away because none of it is um, important anymore. We have done all the things to do with it. And that so that's basically saying, okay, you're done here. We are not done with the desk, but we are done with the 
So, oh hey, a pump. <sighs> I am very tempted to start singing Pump Up the Jam, but you don't want to hear that. Dated? Me? So, now there's water running. Ahem. Right, we gotta go out. And then go back in on the kitchen. Back into the kitchen. And with that water running... Oh, hey. A glass bottle. Great, we can break it over somebody's head. Probably not. But if you turn it, the stopper comes out, and we get a torn photograph. Well, let's look at a photograph. It's of a train! If you looked carefully, you would have seen that over the desk in the study, you guessed it, is a photograph of a train. And it's torn. Moving closer, please. Schiller! Okay, so it tells us um, X on X, S with embellishments, part of loss, JPG, and a J. Funky J. We'll call it Funky J. Oh, and did you notice that the uh, face on this person has been um, erased? Which is something that happens to you when your soul is taken by the null? Yeah. Okay, so... Cross. Curly cues. Move it all the way to here, please. And then back to Funky J. I have no idea if you can brute force that, but I think it would take forever. Right, so we have a train. Can't really do anything here. Hey, wheels. Hey, a wheel. And that lets that go. We can move it into position. Okay, then. So if we turn this, that basically lets us move the this thing. Uh, let's see. I think we put it there. Good. So we can move that there and then turn it so... Yeah. And that's there. Basically, you're going to try and get it into the um, thing. You want to get it into that socket that's more elaborately decorated. Like that. To there. And up. And then back. There we go. And down. And once it's in that socket, you get a plus sign and a funky looking Brad thing, a metal stud. Okay. Well, if we look over, we see there are two metal studs on the front, and, aha, one is missing on the back. So. And that allows us to open this door, and, oh, hey, plus signs. Come on. Two plus signs are connected by a metal rod. And we get a metal grill. It's a cow catcher. But it looks a little funny. That is because you're going to need to spin this and 
reopen it. Now it looks like an actual cow catcher. And we all know where on a train a cow catcher goes, right? I don't think they act... I don't know what it would actually do to a cow. And that gets us an L-shaped connector. Well, it looks like it goes here, doesn't it? Probably. Well, if you look, it has a <clears throat> a triangle on it, which means, yes, that is where it goes. And... That hatch. I've seen this before. No kidding! We've been through this, dude. Alright, so... If we move in here... Can I do anything here? Yes! But we don't have anything that would go in there. So, instead... Turn... Excuse me. Turn that way. Good. And then if you come through here... And turn this one... You can't maneuver them from in here, so let's go out. Now we move in. Ah. <clears throat> and we get that come up. Now, we actually have to go back into the hatch. Do you mind? Thank you. And look through the two portholes. If you look very closely, you see 25 here. And B. Well, where do we put those in? Well, everything has focused on the train so far. Oh, hey. So, two, five, B, I said B, F. All right, and we get a wind-up key, a winding key. Which, if you notice, has a plus shape. Gee, I wonder where we're supposed to use that. Hello? Do you mind? Thank you. Yeah, like I said, the physics on this are a little wonky sometimes. So. Put that there. And turn. Until something happens. And now, the train is running. Delivering everyone equally to the same end. As I rip off Super Genius. Uh, yeah. Okay, so what do we do now? Well, if you look at this lever, it says push it up. Oh hey, now that the train is running, it turns the gear and opens up the desk. And there's a book. Applied Mechanics Handbook. I underestimated my clients. The null element is no curio. It is remarkable. It is all. They underestimate me also. This is my calling. I feel its embrace and I am whole. But how am I to progress with this insufferable racket? Which each month of work, Abigail trusts less, prize more. I change the lock and she beats relentlessly on the door. She pleads constantly, warning me of danger. Of course there is danger here, sweet wife. There is everything here, for there is naught outside. I wanted only to give you everything you dreamed of, but with this, with this I can give you so much more. Ugh. Yeah, that's, that's... Well, it's a box. Open the box, and we get a model chimney.
anything else we can or want to do. It doesn't look like there's anything else here that might be useful. Nope. So let's go see where that model chimney goes. Alright. So, where are we missing a chimney? Oh, that, that might be it. Yes! Schiller! Alright, so let's move around so that we're looking at it from the front. And then we just turn this until everything lines up. Which may take a while. Now. Then you have to do, yeah, it's, you do it like that. You can do it from that angle, but I actually find that a little harder to get things lined up that way. It's harder to manipulate the, the, the doohickey. That's right. New room. So we've got three rooms going right now. Well. And we still have not used that fire steel. The curiosity room. All right. Well, if we look at this. Oh, look. That's a little creepy. All right, so let's, um, first things first, let's look for a book. Compendium of Curiosities. My husband is a stranger now. That man in the study is not him. What is this place? Was it once my home? It twists and writhes. I retreat to the attic, my childhood refuge. The dollhouse that father built was a world within a world. It seems so fragile now, so tiny. I see the crack in the floorboards. I remember spying on father in his study. It is my husband's study now. It takes a while for my eyes to adjust, to make out his hunched form. He works as if in a trance. I copy symbols, sketch apparatus, record all I can. I still have friends at the Royal Incident. They will hear of this null. Oh, Edward. Yeah. Well, let's see here. Uh, but we're almost at 30 minutes, so I'm going to call it here for now. So thank you guys for joining me for Let's Play the Room for Old Sins, and I will see you next time. Have a great evening. Goodbye.